Okay, before this video starts, I just wanted to give a shout out to Double Clutch Media for a video that they filmed recently featuring this car and cat. Definitely check out the link in the description. Double Clutch is a couple of good friends of ours that we met through Rio's Garage, and they are starting something really exciting and cool. I want you guys to check it out. So even if not for that, check it out because it features me in a bikini. <laughs> This is the camera on the gimbal without the gimbal turned on. And then watch watch what happens when I turn it on. <laughs> Wild. Whoa. All right, we're out here at DJ's house today. Hi. We're working on the Corolla. Shh, don't tell Kat. Yeah, don't tell Kat, because we're going to surprise her. Kat's at work, and uh, we're going to fix the brakes on this bad bitch. I don't know if we've told the story, but we uh, we raised this up a little bit. We put shorter lowering blocks in the rear. Or no, bigger one? I don't remember. We put different lowering blocks in the rear, raise it up like maybe an inch or so. And then we uh, replaced the struts and springs up front. And uh, oh so, if you're watching, you fucking madman. That was, I can't believe you would do that. The way that this shit was set up before was not legit but I respect it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we put OEM replacement springs on it, put some OEM replacement struts on it. And in doing that, I cut like a coil and a half out of the springs, uh, cause I wanted it to not ride like that, but I still wanted it to be tall enough, get the oil pan up off the ground. And we've achieved that. But in the process of doing that, one of the bleeders on the brakes broke off. We went to go bleed the brakes cause we took all the suspension shit off, unhooked the calipers and stuff. We went to go bleed the brakes crack the bleeder and it just snapped off. Fuck, well I'll drill it out and put another one. And then, so I got like the special like drill bits for drilling shit out. Two seconds in it just snapped off inside the bleeder and I was like, all right, let's order new calipers. So. We got the new calipers. Yeah. And the other one is just like. <laughs> but yeah. We're hoping that we only have to use one because we broke the bleeder off on one caliper, but never the tried other. the other one. Yeah. So we're gonna try that other one today and, and maybe we can do break. it. Maybe we can do it more gentler. The reason it's been so long is because Kat's been in between jobs and then she started a new job and she's training so she like barely worked, you know, worked a few hours a week and then so like every single paycheck was just going to bills. She's in a bit of, a bit of a better spot now. She got brake calipers. The plan was to do this, lower the, I'm gonna cut like one more spring out of the, or one more coil out of the springs to just level the ride height. And then the plan was to do all that and then go pick her up from work today in this because this car hasn't moved in like two months and it just bums the shit out of her and it's like really fucking with her vibes, you know? <laughs> but uh, Imagine we just roll up and burble, burble the place ba -ba 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 -ba. out. Yeah, the problem though is that she has the keys with her at work so that's not gonna happen. Shit. <laughs> we tried starting it with uh, with our keys but it didn't <laughs> yeah. work. The 240 key like made it three quarters of the way in there but didn't quite turn it. Yeah, I don't know when we last talked about this car, but at its previous ride height, that oil pan, I have a Polaroid picture of it. That oil pan just sitting in this driveway right here was like that far off the ground, and that's just how the car was. And if you don't know, they ripped the fucking oil pan off before and got stranded, so. Yeah, Kat was like driving it, and there was a, like a big steel plate on the road, like for construction, and uh, just fucking ramped off of it <laughs> and bye bye oil pan is really bad so we've already replaced it once and cat decided she didn't want to go through that terror again that's why we're raising it up but when we're done it'll probably be a good five six inches off the ground which is way healthier than one we should have busted the legging pin dude what do you thank me for not having an impact Ugh. oh true here's the culprit the snapping boy <laughs> She yeah. do be dead as fuck. So, uh, we're just gonna pull off that whole caliper. It looks so simple in there. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. That's what Dylan was talking about. Like, when we were working on the 240, he's like, What is all this shit? Yeah, exactly. He's like, Corollas are so simple. Jack stands. It is free. He's just trying to kill himself. Dude, you know, you know what Osmosis Jones really was though? The movie Rush Hour? Yeah, yeah it kinda but, was. But with, with like cartoons and Bill Murray. <laughs> we were talking about the most obscure movie too. So it's we're gonna transfer movie. all that nasty pad. <laughs> this needs new pads, but we're gonna worry about that later. We're just trying so to get this thing This thing, thing has to come off. So I undid those through bolts. So it should just so be those sliders. 
Oh, it's a stud and it's just seized. <laughs> Bust him Dude, if I know this anything about seized count, like slap You need a pickle fork. <laughs> he needs the devil fork that you stabbed my cousin with. <laughs> oh yeah, we went camping. <laughs> we got super hammered. Now you're gonna ruin this. You gotta no, explain no, no. what this happened in the beginning of the story. This motherfucker threw a fucking pitch, a devil pitchfork hot dog roaster into my cousin's leg and it stuck in there and went boing, 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 boing. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined his whole weekend. I believe that. Okay, so this bad bitty <laughs> is really hard to separate. We gotta get this guy, the like slidey pin boys, uh, off of this so we can put it on the new guy. However, uh, it's very seized. It's yeah. probably never been removed ever. Yes. So this side's all good. This side moves, but this side is seized as fuck. So we're gonna get some uh, PB blaster from the store, soak this motherfucker, mount it back up here, and just ream on it and try to get it separated. So we're gonna go to the store, get some PB blaster. Uh, I'm gonna ride in Jay's MR2 that he just finished putting back together and getting it running. What's the deal with this, Jay? Uh, it's stock. It sucks. It sucks. Now, I just built the motor in it. It's got like eight grand in it. It's NA high comp. Uh, that's about it. Tell them, tell them about all that compression ratio. It's got like 12 to 1 compression ratio on like 9 to 1 pump gas. Yeah, so it's pretty scary. <laughs> I haven't ridden in it yet. I haven't even seen it in person since it went back no together. No ridden in this thing besides my mom. We'll meet, we'll see you there. We got a uh, peanut butter boy. Time to go spray. Yee yee blaster. Oh, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, oh she might be dry oh, now. She's dry now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> she got a little left in her. Push it. Yeah, give it the old back and forth. Is it moving at all? I don't think so. Yeah, it's almost off actually. Try the pry boy now. Woo! Now we're gonna have to bend the bracket back because yeah. it bent a little bit. It actually didn't bend as bad as I thought. That's, I don't know what you're talking about. There's okay, just enough. An it up on there's the just enough anti seize on here. Dude, that shit's bent. It's not gonna go on. <laughs> yeah, she might be bent. Um, Look down it. at it from where you're at. You can tell it's bent. You can see it from here. It's like this. Check this out, dude. I did a bunch of heating and skating, and now she's just reaming. <laughs> nice. Quality pry bar. Flip the other thing around, the other dude. Yeah, there you go. Dude, there's like nothing. To, this pry bar is hella wide. It does it's not stay on that. Yeah, oh, it yeah. Moved, it moved. Hit the PD blast on that hoe. Dude, I don't think it needs it, dude. Just give it another crunch. <laughs> Alright, let's bolt it up. <laughs> pry on it. It moved a little bit, though. Not anymore. This was supposed to be like a surprise. This is a surprise. Well, we're, it's supposed to be done already. That's okay. <laughs> the idea was we were gonna fix the car and then pick you up from work in it. And then uh, we realized you have the keys and we didn't get started until like two in the afternoon. You didn't get started until two in the afternoon. Yeah. You said we're gonna it's start almost it. six. Yeah. Don't talk about that. <laughs> all right, well, now that Kat's home, we're all just gonna go get food. But luckily it doesn't get dark till like 9 p.m. anymore. So we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Food was consumed, car was worked on. I got the uh, pins out of the, the old caliper. It took a lot of heating and yanking and stuff just like the other one. But this one wasn't seized, it was just a huge bitch. I'm gonna put the other caliper on. We actually had this bad bitch running for a minute for the first time in like months. Literally, like it's really sad. <laughs> it's nice to hear it run. Yeah, it really Let's is. Go start it again. Okay. <laughs> the other day I saw my Corolla key on my keychain and I was like, what the fuck is this key for? <laughs> I forgot. Pads, by the way, these are really bad. No, they're fine. 
Bye, Herm. Now it's down to bleeding brakes. Wee! I'm so excited. Alright, hold it to the floor. Mm. Alright, do it a whole bunch of more times. Alright, hold it. This is gonna be a long process. <laughs> some get some nasty gunk out of here though. Like this old brake fluid is so gross. Alright, bump her up. All right, pump her up. All right, pump her up. <laughs> That's the third, or no, second, or third bottle full, no bubbles coming out. So time to throw the wheels on and take it for a test drive. Are you fucking hyped? I'm fucking hyped. All right. Oh, your alignment's gonna be way off, by the way. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. We'll figure it out, it's fine. Get some speed and try them out again. ride height the front still is gonna come down like another inch or so but it does not look bad and oil pan is like not on the ground Woo! do you want to be yes in? <laughs> the burbles are back baby do you oh, hear that, like rubbing thing yeah i think that's the um the dust cover can you pull over or let me drive i want to drive it okay <laughs> it's so much smoother now. I know, it's so nice. Yeah, the brakes totally work. Yeah, they work really well. Fine. <laughs> Are you fucking hyped? I'm so excited. The no, I, I can take this key off and throw it away. Yeah, and then this guy will rain. <laughs> so yeah, just some very simple shit to figure out on this. Just get the toe straight, and we want to cut some more springs tomorrow, and then it's like it's good. She's back in business. The return of the Corolla. I'm sorry this wasn't the big exciting surprise that we wanted it to be. It was a surprise though because I got home and you lovely boys were doing the thing that's been in the back of my head like annoying me because I've been so busy that I couldn't like do anything. You know what I mean? So like that was a surprise in itself. You guys are the, the sweetest and I love you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody who believed in us but most importantly thank you so much to the patrons here's a huge list of them right here